Well, first of all, I think that we need to raise awareness of the importance of uh, uh, linguistic deficits in PVFTD. Uh, in this sense, uh, we uh, have uh, completed two uh, systematic uh, reviews of um, uh, existing evidence on linguistic assessments in um, BVFTD. One of them has already been published, targeting in particular what's happening in Latin America, and the other one, which has a more global approach, um, is currently under review. Now, what you can see in those, um, in those studies is that some domains are mostly spared, but that there are other domains, especially within the lexical semantic uh, dimension, which are um, quite systematically affected, where, whereas other domains seem to be uh, affected in, in, in only half of the studies available. So this suggests that uh, there, there may be um, more variability than one would entertain at first in terms of uh, the frequency of, of, of these deficits. And just raising awareness of them is one of the first things that we can do. Um, also, this, the neglect of these deficits is, I should say, globally inequitable in the sense that um, the, the vast majority of the evidence comes from uh, high-income countries. And uh, to the extent that these deficits are informative to have a more uh, comprehensive characterization of the disease, especially considering that gold standard diagnostic tools are not easily accessible in low-income countries, um, having access to these low-cost, culturally sensitive tools that language assessments represent could be a valuable opportunity. And yet, uh, the, the, the research and the validation of these tools for BVFTD is not even uh, across world regions. Um, and, and, and raising awareness also of the fact that these deficits in, uh, these language deficits in BVFTD can, can occur in early disease stages. In fact, there's incipient evidence that they can be tracked in preclinical uh, uh, stages, that they can map onto disease-specific disease um, atrophy patterns, and that their progression rate can approximate that uh, seen in um, uh, primary progressive aphasia. So I think that raising awareness is one of the first things that we could do. And the second thing is to try to engage the community towards creating uh, language-specific tools to capture these deficits. As it happens, um, uh, out of the over 7,000 living languages in the world, only a handful, and I mean really a handful, less than 0.5% have received any systematic attention in the literature. And this means, uh, among other things, uh, that, uh, that uh, validated uh, language-specific tools are not um, equally available for different populations and world regions. And it would be a mistake for us to assume that the specific items and trials and, and stimuli that work to capture language deficits in one language will be equally good for another language, given that languages vary widely in terms of their phonological, morphological, lexical, semantic, syntactic, and, and, and prosodic patterns. So I think that uh, actively working towards more equitable cross-linguistic approaches would be another important thing to do. And I would mention maybe a couple more very briefly, if I may. Um, I think that it would be important to try to profit from the most scalable, low cost, and yet uh, empirically informative tools. And um, uh, automated speech analysis um, has emerged as a very valuable contribution in this sense, a digital innovation to capture um, uh, early markers of different diseases, even non-primarily linguistic disorders, um, in, um, in, 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 in an ecological val ecologically valid fashion. So I, I think that uh, engaging the community towards um, uh, participating in endeavors that try to capture spontaneous recordings from patients uh, can also be very important in this sense. And uh, we are working towards the development of an international network uh, to produce systematic cross-linguistic assessments across different disorders. And um, I think that these are the types of initiatives that can really uh, push the field forward.